Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of A Week in Geekdom Reviews. I am your host, Giovanni Menendez, and this, my friends, is episode 5. On today's episode, we've got a small little review for you guys, and it's actually an old anime series that I quite enjoy on my day. It's actually, uh, we've got for you today a little gem called High School of the Dead. Uh, it's not exactly what you guys were expecting, or at least what I was expecting to review, but I watched it a couple, I think it was like a year ago, I think, on um, the AnimeNetwork.com. And um, I liked it, but um, I was left curious, you know, when they actually released it on DVD, and they finally did, I got it on Blu-ray, and it's not what I was e expecting of a zombie slash anime mashup, because of all the horror franchises, I'm a huge zombie fan, so uh, when I heard, like, anime mixed with zombie action, I was like, I'm sold. But as it turned out, eventually the anime side of things won, and I don't know, the series quickly evolved into some weird uh, hybrid of the two, and it really wasn't what I was expecting of it. Um, so I'll start quickly with this review by saying, you know, it's clearly one of the best new dubs I've heard in a long while. I've been out of touch with the dubs, sorry, so or anime in general, so and uh, as I was watching it, I was really enjoying all the new voices, because some of them I haven't heard before, I hadn't heard of them, and uh, it, it was pretty rad to, to, I said rad, it was pretty rad to hear them, and I read on another website, I'm not gonna tell who they, I'm not gonna say who they are, but they were talking about, um, I believe it was uh, all the changes that were made to the script in relation to the original uh, material. But I, I gotta say, I thought the, the script changes were pretty good. I mean, I laughed at most of the jokes and, and, and real life references. Like, uh, there was a few uh, Palin jokes here and there, and I thought that was unique. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. But all the swearing and whatnot, I read on that same review that they were a little bit uh, uncomfortable by it. It's a zombie mashup that's not supposed to be like the highly sophisticated drama that, uh, that you would expect. I mean, it's no Walking Dead, it's no Romero film, it's nothing like that. It's just having a good time on an adaptation of a manga that's, uh, I, uh, yeah, it was 12 episodes long with one really crappy over. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> seriously guys, just loosen up. I mean, it's 2012, what are you expecting? Uh, but in regards to the actual episodes, um, the quality was amazing. All the episodes looked fantastic. I was blown away at the clarity of the uh, Blu-ray transfer. And Matt props to Sentai Filmworks. Um, I hadn't heard since ADV dissolved and whatnot. I hadn't heard a, um, a series from them. So this was my first exposure to them. And this is actually pretty darn good. The mixing was pretty solid. Uh, some occasions I kept losing a little bit of the audio between the bullets and the action and explosions and stuff but uh yeah it was pretty good um i'm not too quite fond of the cover though because in my opinion that's just me i don't know about you guys back home but uh the actual um i guess you would say the actual art of the manga it's okay for what it is but the anime itself looks totally different in my opinion and the style of the anime which was kept consistent throughout the whole 12 episodes was actually really fun to look at all the character designs and stuff and uh, of course all the fan service and I will get to that in a second but um, I don't know I guess this um, this cover is a little bit misleading I'm gonna try to point it where the light of the computer doesn't hit it there as you can see there's the back of it uh, but yeah it was a fun ride and um, as an episode, as a series in and of itself, plot-wise, it was all over the place, folks. I mean, the reason I bought this, aside from the, of course, obligatory fan service, uh, is actually the first couple episodes. The first three episodes take place, as the title says, in a high school. And I thought it was unique, you know, the, the zombie apocalypse scenario taking place at a high school, or, or at least where the main characters are situated. I thought it was pretty cool, and... Um, I wasn't um, I wasn't a big fan of the later stuff, but uh, those 
uh, first three or four episodes, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, are awesome. You know, the first one in particular is so pretty to look at, and 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 the dialogue and the action is frantic, and you don't know quite exactly what's going on. But then they take you back and explain just a tiny little bit of info, and and you sort of sort it out and uh, of what or how the characters came to be. And then when the whole thing like hits the wall or hits the fan you know it's gonna be epic and uh, the first three episodes are rock solid they don't disappoint at all all the characters are great even the bad ones or the good ones it doesn't matter you you like them but then eventually this doesn't stay in a high school of course that would be stupid them staying there with so many students now turn into zombies uh, but uh, yeah it, 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 after they leave the high school they, it all just completely falls apart in my opinion like it the quick the series quickly fell into all the anime tropes that you know and love and hate or whatever I mean I mean from the excessive um, well not not gore but the excessive fan service in particular like uh, every male out there does not mind at all a little fan service but um, it sort of gets to a point where it's just totally like um, I guess uh, like there are certain scenes where the they emphasize on chests way too much to the point where you're just laughing and I know that I guess that was part of the joke but uh, it kind of it, it's kind of bothersome because you get all these boob shots when other scenes you're trying they really want you to take this series uh, seriously uh, but yeah I get the in joke and all the fan services whatnot but um, it just kind of didn't work I mean for the first couple episodes they were okay but then there were a couple of them that were just uh, like episode six or seven I think or uh, when they leave their friend uh, um, the school nurses friends house when they leave they just completely emphasize on it for like um, like 15 minutes straight, just random shots of jiggly action, which is okay, mind you, but in excess, it actually can be boring, which is surprising to say, I guess. Um, I'm sure my uh, uh, podcast friends and co-hosts would would say otherwise, but that's completely different. I'm actually doing a serious review here, folks. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and um, basically the series is divided in 12 episodes, and mainly it's just three set of action scenes and how you get from one to the other. Because at the beginning, they're in the high school. In the middle, they're at their friend's house or the school nurse's friend's house. And then at the end, they get to another, uh, to a mansion, uh, which you'll find out as you watch the series. So all the other episodes are mainly how the, the how they get there. And, of course being a zombie uh, uh, story uh, at the end you get the obligatory f um, cliffhanger ending because you don't know what's gonna happen to them so that's sort of the appeal of the show however I must say that the ending was totally bittersweet because that final episode was probably one of the best ones after the first three the rest were all junk I could care less about them but that last one sh really showed promise at what you could really do with a series like that in anime form so by the end of it you are uh, at least I was totally let down because I was not expecting that at all and you know they say the manga continues but you re I, I don't really want to read it because once you start watching the series it's kind of hard to just um, leave everything aside and start jumping in reading a random chapter and uh, I guess that's just not my style per se but I was hoping like uh, there would be a second season but so far there has been absolutely nothing. And um, on that note, of course, uh, we can't forget that this being a zombie show, uh, the actual zombies themselves are pretty awesome. I, I like that they were Romero-style slow zombies. Those are my favorite. And, uh, and um, it, it kind of a little it looked a little weird when they did the whole um, cell shaded computer animated uh, zombie walking around in the distance. It looked like <laughs> looked like a bunch of crabs walking, and it was kind of weird at parts. But yeah, the series um, never lost a heartbeat. It was always uh, frantically running around, and that was good, I guess. But it just didn't match the first three episodes. That I mean, by the end of the third one, that was the peak, I think. And afterward, uh, it slowly started descending into 
uh, familiar territory for um, anime fans, I guess. And then by the end of it, it was just a one big uh, goopy mess of zombie fandom jiggly boops action, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, the DVD is completely scarce, or, sh or should I say the Blu-ray version is completely devoid of special features other than the uh, opening and endings animations, um, and uh, other trailers from other shows from Sentai, but uh, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping like an audio commentary for at least one episode would have been great, but I guess they didn't have the money for that, so yeah. I'm a big DVD extra fan, so not having not having that many extras on it was a big minus for me. I still liked it, and I will say this again, I still liked it for the three episodes. And um, I believe it was one of the episodes uh, midway that was really awesome. And it had some interesting ideas. I love the idea of um, it being compared to a plague instead of like a random event and sort of like it was a medical thing or, or at least they were thinking it was something like that you know that they were comparing it to like say the bubonic plague and possible solutions and it was really fun and and uh, yeah it, it all it was all kind of I don't know what's the proper term but it was called kind of loose like they didn't really know where to go but at the end, you just got a basic story, like all zombie stories, about a group of survivors and what they have to go through. And it was fun, you know. It was uh, it was definitely something that uh, I was not expecting, at least. Uh, but yeah, if you're in for a surprise and you don't mind the excessive amount of fan service, it, it's not like, um, it's not vulgar in any way, I guess. It's not explicit or anything, so uh, still you shouldn't watch it with kids or anything. But yeah, you know, you, you know what I mean. It's more PG-13 in my in my opinion. However, um, in one scene in particular, I think it was the character of Saiko, I believe was her name, where she is demoralized by uh, remembering something from her past uh, being reflected on some kid zombies. The scene that follows after it with the uh, male lead and her it was bothersome after uh, a late night rendezvous in an old monastery if you will uh, yes that completely happens what I just said uh, but uh, afterward in the following scene I thought it was a little bit um, weird I guess because uh, after the midnight rendezvous if you will um, they, they, they find out later in, in the uh, morning that zombies have overrun the place as well so we never know how they got there, but um, they don't want to shoot them because obviously that would attract more zombies to the uh, monastery. But of course, um, Saiko is still a little um, iffy about the whole thing and, and, and not sure of herself. And then the most unexpected reaction I've seen from a male lead in, in like ages, uh, that really threw me for a loop. And uh, I'll leave it for you guys to watch, but I just, I seriously have to question the male perception of females in action movies or whatnot over there in Japan because seriously I was a little bit random and just like that after what happens she is magically okay and she is reassured of herself no longer any doubts it just took one big scene and might I add it was a hell of a groping scene so you'll have to see it to watch and, and come back to us and let us know what you guys think but yeah, I seriously sometimes question the Japanese perception of things and, and how they represent women and stuff. Because you would think, since they try to copy the West so much, at least some of our ideals, I guess, would go over there uh, well. But I, I don't know, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going not gonna to get into it because I don't want any trouble, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, High School of the Dead, definitely worth checking out for at least the first three or four episodes, if you will. The rest are at your discretion. Stream There's a stream available at Anime Network or Crunchyroll, I'm not sure right now. But you can go check it out and, and see if you like it. If you do, go pick it up. E either, either you like those episodes, if you don't like those episodes, then it's not for you. But if you do, and you want to check out the whole series... Um, just know that they're not as majestic or as epic as the first round of episodes, but they are pretty darn good. So, yeah, I mean, um, definitely worth checking out, at least for the first uh, part of the series. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, so, what are we going to give High School of the Dead? I debated and debated about this. I watched each episode um, meticulously to see if I could find more faults in it, but, yeah, the excessive... 
sometimes there was excessive violence, but the excessive fan service and uh, the lack of quality control on certain episodes really did a number on this rating for me. So I'm going to give it... Um, originally, I was going to give it a 2.5 out of 5, but the Blu-ray quality sold me as well as the dub, which was amazing. The leads in this were amazing. And might I say, Jessica Boone, it, it's great to hear her back. I hadn't heard her in ages in a dub, so it was really good to hear her voice as, uh, as Ray and all the other characters as well. It was really fun, a really fun dub and script. I'm sure they had a blast recording that. So we're going to give it a 3 out of 5. That's 3, 3 out of 5, of course, for the Blu-ray quality, the first couple episodes, and the dub and script now, for the bad points, as you've already heard me say and seen, uh, you know, the plot really took a nosedive, so that really basically put it under my list of just okay titles. So there you have it, folks. High School of the Dead gets a 3 out of 5 on our A Week in Geekdom Reviews program. So that's it for me, folks. As always, you can find us on Facebook. Just search for A Week in Geekdom. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, just at or just follow us at a week in geekdom of course you can write to us at a week in geekdom dot com uh, look for us over there write to us and send us feedback suggestions and such you can do that at a week in geekdom at gmail dot com of course links are posted everywhere and really whenever you look for things and whenever you want to find info be it social media, I promise you guys, A Week in Geekdom will always be there for you. So please like us and keep in touch. So that's it for me. I've been Yabani Menendez, and this has been episode 5 of A Week in Geekdom Reviews. <laughs>